Well, today is the day after the jihad attack on November 13th in Paris, France. On July 15th, Islamic State had predicted that the streets of Paris will run with blood. I've studied Islamic State, Al-Qaeda, and the Muslim Brotherhood for some time, and I have an enormous respect for their strategic planning ability. If Al-Qaeda, Islamic State, and the Muslim Brotherhood say something's going to happen, it will happen, just as it did in Paris. Now here in America, we don't use words like jihad because those are considered offensive. So as a result, when Obama makes a statement about what the world is going to do, he talks about terrorism and terror networks. Mr. Obama, you should be talking about jihad and jihadi networks. The language that we need is not the language of the left or the language of the right. What we need is the language of Islam, the language found in the Quran, the Sirah, and the Hadith. That is the language we need. If we're going to seek understanding of what happens in mass murder such as this, we need to study the doctrine of jihad, because Muhammad was a jihadist, and he laid out exactly what is to happen in jihad, and what has happened in Paris, France, is exactly what should be happening in jihad. The kafir, the non-Muslim, shall be brought to fear Islam, and therefore yield to its Sharia demands. When it comes to language, what I have to say to you is, study the Quran, the Sirah, the Hadith, so that you too can adopt a precise language so that you won't use words like terror, but instead will use words like jihad. You'll understand the concept of civilizational war, because that's what's happening in France. This is not merely a murder of a few people. This is a war against the civilization of Europe. And if we don't wake up, we will lose the war. Thank you.